Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting. And as you can see, again, it is pay dirt review time. And this is the second part of my Australian gold pay dirt hunt, where earlier in the week I did a lower priced bag of pay dirt from Australia, and now I am doing a much higher priced bag of pay dirt. This one is from DT Gold. Um, I'm not going to try and tell you their website name because it's very long. It's DT, well, I'll tell you, it's DT Gold Australia dot my shopify dot com not a very easy name to remember so look below i'll have a link to it below if you need to i always put links below so link below <laughs> but this is their 200 gram high concentrate bag it's the only bag they ship overseas so it's the only one i was able to get somebody to order for me and i didn't have it all set up to order something from australia and have them ship it to me so this is the only one i could get I figure why not it's guaranteed 3.2 grams of gold so let's weigh it up and see 204 grams so it's over the 200 gram now I will say another thing in the description they state a different weight so it was over the 200 pounds but the 200 grams now let's get to the description This is DT Gold High Concentrate Pay Dirt. This is our richest pay dirt gold to weight ratio. Lightweight bags with only heavy minerals to save on shipping costs. Designed for our international prospectors. Find flower gold to chunky Australian gold. Each bag contains at least 3.2 grams of Australian gold. This ranges from nuggets to flower gold. Whether you're learning to pan for gold or the experienced prospector who can't get into the field this weekend, this is the pay dirt for you. Fun for the kids and the whole family. Weight is approximately 180 grams. Pictures do not represent contents of actual product. No amount of gold is guaranteed to be recovered as panning can be difficult and tedious. We suggest multiple panning, we suggest panning multiple times to make sure you recover all the gold. I do actually like, normally I'm not a big fan of disclaimers, but I actually like that disclaimer where they're not saying you won't find any gold. They're saying you might not be able to recover the gold. But it is guaranteed to 3.2 grams. Let's open this up. It is in one of those little vacuum seal bags, little food saver type bags. I am a big fan of these. I do like these types of bags. But there you go. 3.2 grams of gold in here. All Australian gold. I am going to let you listen to some music. I am going to classify it. I am going to say I am a little scared that anything bigger than 40, 10 mesh or even 20 mesh will probably just be gold. So I might just be picking out some gold right now and dumping it in a pan. But let's find out. Let me go let you listen to some music and let me classify it down. As you can see, it definitely steps down with almost nothing in the plus 10, very little in here. The majority of it is obviously in the minus 20, plus 40, and the minus 40. And also, as I said, I was worried about pretty much the only thing I found in the plus 10 was some big old chunky gold, so a nice big Australian gold. I will say these two little smaller pieces are pretty shiny. This one is that dull kind of crystallized look gold. But as many of you say, and as I, all gold is pretty, this one's just not as pretty. But I'll be curious to weigh that up. And I did see some gold in here as well, but I'm not going to try and uncover it because I actually want to pan it out. So I'm going to read back, right back. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. Ugh, new setup is killing me. Almost forgot. Let's see. Really not too much. Ugh. As you can see, this is very, has a lot of heavies in it, a lot of hematite or something in it, and very little magnetite though. I mean, not much, almost nothing. Let's check the larger material. And again, yeah, not really that much. Pretty much nothing on there. So, all right, now we'll be right back and let's go find out some gold. We already know we found some gold over here. Let's see if we can find the rest of it. Well, finished panning everything out. And again, this Australian pay dirt was really tough to go through. 
this Colt just doesn't want to settle into the heavies. It took a very long time to just work out the finer gold, but that does tell you there is finer gold. And maybe there's some other gold as well. So let's get right to that. Let me show you the gold I recovered in the plus 10. I found some nice, really big pickers. I'll let you listen to them. Really, really nice. Really. I mean, these are just... This one is pretty light. I have to say, this one right here is pretty light. These are actually pretty solid little nuggets. I'll have to weigh them up, I'm guessing. Maybe a half a gram each, and then maybe this one a little bit underneath the gram. And this one is actually, as you can just see, it breaks apart really easy. That's the second time when I've dropped it, it's broken a little piece off. But let me weigh that up in a minute. In the minus 10 plus 20, I found even more gold. A nice little pile, probably 20 pieces in there. Eh, maybe not that, but about 15. I'm guessing about 15 little pieces in there. But pretty happy with that. And then in the minus 20 plus 40, I found even more gold, a huge pile of gold. And then in the minus 40, I found even more gold. There you go, another nice little pile of shiny. Too shiny, in fact. I'm going to probably have to work out a way to dim my light some when I do this scene. But there you go. Really, really nice pile of the shiny. So let's weigh it all up. I'm going to swap out some boats, take out some coins. And as you can see, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I've got some gold-plated mercuries in so I can start doing all my waves with my favorite coins. The mercury dime is my absolute favorite of all the dimes. So I figured I might as well get some gold-plated in ones, some gold-plated ones in to do my little videos with. So there we go. Let's add this piece to there. It broke off of the nugget. I don't want to lose it, so I'll just add it to the minus 20. So there you go. Let's weigh it all up. See what we recovered. All right, we're going to do each nugget one at a time just to see. Zero point four seven zero. Zero point five five zero. And then the big one. I'm trying not to drop to break anymore. 0 0.865. So there you go. Some really nice nuggets. Almost 2 grams. And then in the minus 10 plus 20. Zero point one eight zero. And then for the monster pile. The minus 20 plus 40. 0 0.995, so just short of a gram. And then lastly, the minus 40, and this definitely will budge the scale some. So, yeah. Fifth of a gram, maybe. Yeah. 0 0.215, so let's just add it all up. There you go, 3.280. Now, it was guaranteed 3.28 grams, so I just made a little bit over that. And I'm going to be right back with my ROI and my review. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review. Let's get to it. This, again, was from DT Gold, and there will be a link below because they have a really crazy name, as I said before, and it's too long to keep repeating. 
So we'll get the link below. I always put links below, so there will be a link below. This is again, this was their 200, it was their 200 gram high concentrate bag. It was guaranteed 3.2 grams of gold. Now the cost on this was $229 AUD. If you lived in Australia, the shipping is $8.50 AUD for a grand total of $237.50 AUD. In US, that was $164.71 at the time of this purchase. That's what it was at the time of purchase. I know money fluctuates, so I wrote it all down beforehand. So this was $164.71 if you would have purchased it when I did and you were in Australia. For US consumers, this was $229 AUD, $24 shipping, at total cost, 253 AUD. Or to me, and in USD, it's $175.46. So that's what I paid, $175.46. Gold recovered right here, 3.280 grams of gold. Gold spot on the day this was received was $39.33, which means this gold's value is $129, which makes the ROI, and this is the ROI based if you were in Australia, would be 78.32% or on my scale, a 7.8. Now, if you are like me and you happen to have bought it in your United States, and like I did, my ROI was 73.52%, which is really good considering, you know, I paid 24 bucks, whatever that is in Australian dollars, to have it shipped to me. It's a very small bag of pay dirt, it, really good ROI, so really happy with that. So for fun factor, I'm giving it a 10. I had a blast. Australian pater, it was really, really tough. It made me struggle. I had some fun with it. I found some really big gold, some really fine gold, and a lot of gold. So pater description. So for fun factor, they're getting a 10. For pater description, I'm only giving it a 6. It does have some good information in there, but it really needs a lot more, especially if you're in the United States or somewhere where you're going to be paying $229 for this. That's a lot of money. More information is really helpful when somebody's spending that much type of money. For pater quantity and packaging, they're getting a 9.5. It did come in the little vacuum sealer bag, and it was double bagged, and then it was wrapped in another bag when it was shipped. So... 9.5 for that. For customer service and shipping, they got a 10 on both. No, I had someone contact them through their Facebook page as opposed to emailing them. And they do have a Facebook page. And again, I will put a link to that one below if you want to go to contact them through Facebook. I just find Facebook's a lot of times a lot easier because people have Messenger on their phone and things. I typically don't use Facebook a lot, but some sellers do. So I try to always make it as easy as possible when I contact sellers to get a good reply. So 10 and 10 out of that. For total score... DT Gold's 200 gram high concentration bag is an 8.7. So that's really good. I'm really happy with that. I can't complain about that. I'll take an 8.7 any day considering how expensive this shipping was and considering how expensive the bag was, how far away it came from. I am really happy with that. So all that's left is to flash up the score and give away a 24 karat gold plated dime. So let's flash up the score now. Now, before I do today's 24 karat gold plated dime giveaway, I do need to do some more shout outs for some more of my Patreon members. And if I don't get to you, don't worry, your name is coming. But for right now, we're going to do Eric Young, Weez and Geezer TV, Jeff Gray, Sean Hodges, and Bill Bradley. Thank you all very much for supporting my Patreon page. And if anyone else is interested in sponsoring this channel, please go to patreon.com forward slash Miller Prospecting. All the help, really appreciate it. I do have some really cool tier rewards I give away to anyone that supports me on Patreon page. I do monthly giveaways, things like that. So all the help is appreciated. Now for today's 24 karat gold plated dime giveaway that I give away just to support you guys who just watch me on YouTube. This is going to Jason Spears. So Jason Spears, make sure you email me. Email will pop up in a second and contact me so I can send this off to you. Everyone else, thanks for watching and happy panning.